to be nominated for the Prudential I Awards for me, I guess, meant it, it sort of, um, I think is a really important thing for Australians to be very much uh, a part of the culture of Southeast Asia. We fit so neatly into Southeast Asia. And as an artist, I always think it's really important to look at that, that our geographical location, not only are we remote, we're very remote from Europe, but we're right smack bang in the middle of Southeast Asia. Um, so I guess it's just about enriching that, that, that cross-cultural um, thing and often that cross-cultural barrier that we have of trying to define ourselves as, as Australians, but really with European ancestry, but smack bang in the middle of Southeast Asia. So I think it's a really interesting prize to be involved with um, and very important for, for us artists in Australia to be involved with. The way I work, I, I, I play around with lots of different things. I think most contemporary artists these days do, but I always come back to paint. For me, it's the most um, immediate, um, sort of visceral way of making a mark um, without needing to rely on te any technology, I basically just need an implement and pigment and a surface and I can make, make a mark and, and make a statement. So I always come back to paint, um, even though I've, I've, I've sort of flirted with video and, and, and I worked in TV for a long time. I've made sculptures and installation and all sorts of things, but I always come back to paint. My studio, uh, my studio I never have windows in my studio. Uh, I, in fact, the less I have to distract me, visually, um, I think that's a good thing. I have lots of, always have music, always make work to music, but I don't need distractions. A uh, window's a distraction, and I live in a beautiful place, and if there was a window, I'd be looking out the window and making vacuous, beautiful paintings of the beautiful view, which aren't really what I'm interested in. It's a workshop, I mean, it's an art studio, but really it's a, an artist's workspace. And it is work. Most mornings I get here and think, ah, oh, no, I can't face this today. But um, you, by halfway through the day, it, there's something very magical about being in the zone, about making something that, that I feel is profoundly important, but actually has no real, real value. Um, except that it's examining what it is to be a human and I think every step of that, that, that pathway is about trying to make the place that we live in a better place. So I feel fulfilled at the end of every single day, even though in the mornings it can be difficult. Well, my, the, I guess the main source of my inspiration is myself and, and because of who I am, inevitably that, that examination has been about masculinity. And, and about my own place in the role of, of, of being a young man in this culture. And it's a very distinctly different culture to anywhere else in the world. Um, often very violent, uh, very violent rites of passage, um, very strange self-initiation processes that, that we accept without question. Um, well, I've been questioning them all my life and making work about that. Um, and, and I guess because I, you know, I mean, down to the most basic level of it, I don't want my little son to have to go through those things. Even though there was a, you know, there was a side, there was a parts of my adrenaline system that I didn't know existed. There's an exciting part to those things, but in the end, there's gotta be a nicer way to do it. Um, so my work's very much in that sense is autobiographical and about masculinity. One artist actually who said, you've blown it now, you've had a son and the contemporary art world's gonna drop you like a, you know, like a, a burning potato. Um, but no, I, it's just who I am. It's enriched my work so much. I feel, firstly, having children, you suddenly realise that if you, if you feel like you've got a problem and you're whinging about how the, the art world works or whinging about your auction price or whinging about the bitchy people in the, in the fringes of the art world, then you think, hang on, I've got two healthy kids and I can afford to give them the lifestyle that I want to give them. I'm the luckiest man alive. I've got nothing to whinge about. Um, and they sit for me and they inform me and I look at their drawings and think that's what it is to be a human being. To be five and have that freedom of expression is so, so incredible. Um, and, and to have them around is just a, a, a great honour and, and only makes my whole feelings about being alive more complicated and more complex and more exciting. Um, and I'm a, 
and now I'm, I'm a role model for a little boy. And all my work's been about men with no role models, men with no paths of initiation, men with a, with, without any initiation ceremony at all. And suddenly I have that responsibility. Um, and in a way, that little boy is giving me the opportunity to make work as, as, a, as an adult rather than as a responding to the mad drunkenness of youth. The big paintings are very much about forcing the viewer to, to assess who, how they, um, forcing them to assess their own place in the history of, of that work. So they're often big raw sharks and, and the act of, a, of making a raw shark demands that, that there's an audience that, that interacts with that painting. Whereas the small paintings are almost all uh, live sittings with my family and my closest friends. So my children, my mum and my dad, my wife, um, and I get them to sit and, and in a way those little paintings are a recording of, of a piece of time spent between two people who know each other very well. You know, there, there's this whole thing that you need to tell a story and it needs to be black and white and partly that's run by Hollywood that you have to have a beginning, a middle and an end. Well, no you don't. Tell me that life has a beginning, a middle and an end. What happens you're after... You die. You're born you're and you die. That's right. You're born and you die. But, but there's so much more to ask about, about the nature of being alive. Um, and, and, and I don't have the answers, but I have the questions and I have some answers and I'll put it all out there and hopefully it creates debate and people ask more questions.